Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, okay, cheeky little shot of the car there. Here we go. Um, I've had this past week um, a couple of really, really good questions. One on the phone and one um, through the actual uh, YouTube channel here. And I felt it was worth a video in between making the video, talking about the wheels and everything else. Uh, so what I want to talk to you about are two things. I want to talk about the V-mount intercooler system that you can see in front of you right now, that's sort of uh, going in there right now. Um, and I want to talk to you about heat. So first of all, let's talk about the um, intercooler here. So this is the Rotec V-mount intercooler kit. Uh, the radiator, as you can see, from being in and out, I actually couldn't even count how many times that thing has been in and out. Uh, it's got a little bit battered, uh, but the kit obviously will come with a brand new radiator when you get it. Um, so this is how it installs. It is quite an easy system to install. All the bolt holes pick up each other. Uh, it's quite self-explanatory as to what goes where, like for instance, down here, that's actually picking up the existing holes of the factory radiator fans that go in the back of that rad. So what you do is you put that bracket in between the fan and the metal of the radiator, and you bolt up underneath it and it secures it, and then there's going to be a piece of extrusion that goes across here that bolts to either side that supports the bottom of the rad. Now, this is put in with uh, aircraft grade aluminum, so we've got a 90 degree one and a half inch extrusion here. Uh, we use uh, threaded inserts, so when you get this kit you will actually get the tool and the threaded inserts to do this. Um, and it goes right into the front panel there, drops down, that's reinforced with another quarter inch aircraft grade aluminum plate. And that goes right off into the back, as you can see it's all notched and cut out. And that actually uh, completely blocks off the intercooler and the radiator. Um, so if we move on to top here, so that's the plate going all the way back and then that screws down to the actual um, structure, the actual rad support bracket that runs across the vehicle there. Uh, this piece that's in here right now, when that's actually in, there's 90 degrees on either side of it. It's not quite long enough unfortunately, I'm going to have to adjust that. Um, but uh, basically that goes into there onto the top, if you can see that, and bolts to the side there. That gives it rear strength as well. It also, uh, what it does is, it butts up against the intercooler. So it means that when this system's actually in, there is absolutely nowhere for the air to go but through that radiator and through the intercooler, and then if you've got any kind of venting or anything like that, through the hood. Um, so the efficiency of this is extremely high very very high, uh, two core rad, um, very efficient rad and then we're running an intercooler that is quite literally four times the size of the stock intercooler um, so by the time you finish this is an extremely efficient cooling system um, and the strength of it is insane so these are M8 bolts on here again I mean literally solid as a rock already um, so none of this will be going anywhere it's going to be a really, really sturdy, really good system. This will actually stop debris and rocks and anything underneath actually puncturing up as well. There's going to be a really nice plate goes across the front and then a 90 degree extrusion like this goes back. So that kind of hides that and you end up with this beautiful looking aluminum box section uh, for the whole front end. So when you look in the bumper, it'll just be like really nice plate aluminum. And then it'll actually be the radiator fins that you see. Uh, and that'll pretty much be it from your front bumper. But uh, extremely, extremely well fitting. Absolutely spot on. I'm extremely pleased. And I've spent the last two days doing nothing but... Because, of course, this was all built. Uh, so for the last two days, I've done nothing but blueprint and part number all these parts. Uh, catalog and measure everything. And I've even set up the actual table. Um, for the templates, so everything's marked on the table as to what needs to be cut to where, uh, so we can run more of these kits off as and when required. Uh, so the intercooler will sit right on that plateau there, uh, and it'll be completely boxed in. So the goal is that the next video that I bring you, um, 
at some point will show you how this all sits before the bumper goes on I'll make sure we get a video with the intercooler in everything buttoned down everything solid and you can see exactly what's going on um, I was gonna weld a lot of this stuff um, but I was talking to a gentleman and every car is different every car is slightly different and there isn't a lot of play when you start welding uh, by putting bolts and uh, retain nuts into all of these pieces like a jigsaw puzzle it means that we've got flexibility you might have got a millimeter of movement on each nut so what that means is we can tweak this and move it around and make it perfect for your car so it'll fit every car and if ever you need to change a part or something breaks you can very easily do that we can just pull that plate out put a new one in screw it down away you go you're not having to get convoluted parts manufactured or anything like that like this is really low maintenance really easy to deal with and extremely efficient uh, so that's the v-mount kit so far so i thought that was interesting uh, whilst i'm at this stage to show you uh, where we're at um, the other thing i want to talk about is heat so one of my YouTube followers made an extremely good point uh, on the last video. Extremely good point. And it was just a very quick comment. It was like, you might want to do something about the turbo heat. And it's ironic because he said that and two days later, I'd already got the parts come in. Two days later, they arrived. So this is a titanium uh, T4 flanged uh, heat shield. And it is massively thick. I'm not joking, that is probably one and a half inch thick. It was actually really hard to feed it through and get the springs in and everything else. Uh, but I'm absolutely positive that is going to do a epic job of keeping heat down in there. Absolutely amazing. Um, extremely irritative. As I was touching it, my hands were coming up in rashes and stuff like that. Like, But uh, it is one of the best things you can do bar in Canel. And Inconel is massive and I've not got time because of shows and commitments and stuff like that uh, to actually manufacture an Inconel box section for that. Uh, the titanium cover will do 99% of what I want to do. And then going down to the downpipe down there, I've got titanium um, exhaust wrap. Um, so that goes all the way down and under, uh, right around the O2 sensor and all the way down. And uh, it's zip tied down with metal zip ties. So absolutely correct um, this definitely had uh, heat concerns I 100% agree with you and that is gonna make a monumental difference to the uh, overall temperatures in there that combined with the hood and then the cooling what I'm actually gonna do is you'll notice we've got a section here so what I'm actually gonna do is like Aria Memia um, I mean there's looks pretty rough is this orange tubing but I'm actually gonna run like a ram air tube that comes up here and then feeds directly to the air filter so as you're driving it actually rams cold air in towards it because unfortunately because of the setup we can't actually run any kind of cool um, intake system in this like before you know we've got vents in the actual uh, lids and things like that uh, we can't do anything too cool because of uh, the styling that I've chosen and positioning of everything that turbo does sit quite quite low so uh, anyway guys just a very quick update just to let you know what's going on as always, please feel free to ask questions. Um, I'm very much interactive on YouTube and Instagram, Scotia Tint. I answer every single question um, and love helping the community out. It's all part of helping everybody out here. So uh, if you've got any questions or any comments, please feel free to post. As always, guys, take care. Thank you and stay tuned for the next one. Bye now.